So it's been a while since I made one of these paint videos and I decided, you know what, it's about damn time that I make one of these again. And this time around we're going to be painting a Threadfin Shad. You know, the thing that your eyeballs are feasting right at this very moment. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you how to paint this thing. So, we're gonna start with something that I haven't shown on my channel before, and that is how to make your own custom stencils from scratch. And as you can see here, I have quite a few of these already drawn out and ready to go. And all of these are basically different stages on my painting process that I will then use to give different sort of highlights and effects. And I'm gonna be starting by cutting out the eye opening, which will then help me align the stencil a little bit better when I actually start painting the highlights and effects on my lure. Because I'm using water-based paint, I wanna make sure that these stencils actually last me for a bit. So I'm just covering them with packing tape to enhance the longevity of these things. Now that both sides have been covered with tape, I'm just going to cut these out and we can start slinging some paint. Now that we have cut all of our stencils, we can actually start painting, and by we, I mean me. Um, I'm gonna start by laying on a base of black to specific areas that I know that I'm gonna be painting on, which will be basically the head details and the scales. Also, at this point, it's kind of easy to get overspray, and I found that a really good way to make sure that you don't get any overspray is just to use a stencil to basically mark an area uh, with your paint that you can't go over. Next, we're gonna do the scales. And for those who are wondering, the netting comes from a pouch that you would use to wash your underwear in. And it's held together with curtain snips. Ingenious, I know. Now that we have the scales done, it's time to paint the belly white. All right, let's move to the portion that is probably the most difficult and complicated out of all of this airbrushing that I'm gonna be doing in this video. And that is to make the head details. And I'm gonna start with the mouth. I found that a good way of making sure that my airbrushing comes out looking nice and sharp is to simply tape the stencil onto the lure itself. And as you can see, hopefully, I'm also using the clear eye socket to align the stencil so both sides are gonna be completely identical. And for the rest of the gill details and head details, I'm just gonna use the same exact formula what I did with the mouth. So uh, tacking the uh, stencil onto the lure with some masking tape and then spraying some paint. And I think also this is a pretty noteworthy thing to add here as well. 
I didn't thin the paints at all, so they come as, it, as they are from the bottle. And also what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to build up a lot of thin layers so it's much more easier for me to control the opacity that I want to achieve with this uh, particular paint job. Now that I'm fairly happy with the painting that I've did with the head details, I'm just gonna go back with white and clean up some of these areas that I still feel like are kind of not quite there yet. And sort of uh, tie together more. Another kind of uh, complicated painting technique that I wanted to include in this video is how to make the fin rays. And as you can see, I'm using the stencil that is kind of curved to give this kind of fin ray effect that I've been doing for years now. And I think I probably was the very first uh, person in YouTube to actually show this like, I don't know, nine years ago or something like that. Anyways. Uh, this is fairly simple to do if you have a good control of your airbrush and also uh, a good thin um, mixed ratio with your paint is pretty much the key. So uh, what I do usually is like I have 50-50 um, of uh, paint and airbrush flow improver to do these really fine details. Also, one really good tip that I've learned throughout the years that I want to give you guys now is just to take off the protective cap that is protecting your needle from your airbrush. This will give the paint a little bit more of a misty effect and you won't get that annoying uh, spitting effect that I'm sure many of you are fairly familiar with. And next we're gonna do the gill rays and what I did on the fin details pretty much applies here so I don't think um, you know going into further how I do this is really required. Only thing that is actually kind of difficult here is to align the stencil. I probably took um, a good minute or two to make sure that it's um, aligned properly. Now we're gonna move to the back and what I've been using a lot recently is a different shades of brown and I feel personally that it gives a really nice bait fish uh, flair to um, any kind of paint job that you might, might want to do and uh, yeah that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. I wanted to add an additional flair to this uh, paint job and make it look a bit more uh, fishy. So I wanted to use these um, color shift paints to achieve that. And I've been using these a lot actually recently and they do look fairly awesome. They have this kind of a chameleon effect which looks extremely nice, at least to my eye. So my customer who wanted me to paint this uh, top water bait wanted to have a Threadfin Shad theme on his bait. So we're gonna add one of those uh, Shad spots on the side of this uh, lure now. I'm still gonna continue with that black and I'm gonna do a little bit of shading now to the gill plates to make them pop out a little bit more.
originally I was not going to do this, but when I was looking at this lure, I thought to myself, you know what, I need some blood effects on this one. So I just did, I decided to mask the gill plate area and add some blood effects. There is only one last thing I need to do before I can start epoxy in this thing, and that is to add the eyes. And I'm just going to fill up the um, eye sockets with a 5 minute epoxy and glue in the eyes. And that's pretty much all from me now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you did, and I'll be back whenever I have something new to show you guys. So until then, see you guys around.